Hey all, welcome to second chapters, second act, second location. So Mart needs Elaine's help again to uh, get the second part of Prince's body. We must stop Pixley from resurrecting him. And Elaine is ready to help us. We have to follow her. So let's quickly recap these costly tiles. Mostly it's going to be costly tiles because this is 121 tiles, not a huge number. Uh, okay. Mm, a line needs more information. Go to the red, green and blue library sections. And we have to get three these three books. I'm not going to remember the names. And more information is in the other two sections, brown and purple. Um, Alright, we also have riddles, so that's going to be fun. Great. So, red, green and blue sections are on the top. And these two bottom purple and brown sections. They will have more information, so I am going to get the more information first and then work on the main book section. Mm. Templars join the fight against the free forces. The Swing Free Forest will have many casualties. Oh, that's a question. Who helped defeat Prince Kaelin's forces during Spring Fae Forest War? Uh, Templars is going to be number 2 according to the information I read so far. First time attacked was the False Word. Mayor was Duncan McDonald. Not related to the fast food chain. So if I am not wrong, 2 should be the answer. And yes, that seems to be right. A portal has opened up. Let's check it. And here we have not just more information, also the treasure part. Great. So for that we do need to solve these puzzles it seems. Okay, so let's see, we have the light source here yes, and those mirrors are movable. Uh, looks like we can hit the green one easily. The others might be a little harder. Let's see. Uh, we can push it all the way. And then we can use this one we can't pull because that will block our way. So let's use this one. Alright. So uh interesting. That wall came up and fixed itself as a floor. And it seems that also reduced the height of these green colored platforms. First, they were at a higher height. Okay, now it's time for another one. Um, we can possibly hit the red one. We do have enough mirrors. Or we can attempt to hit the blue one. That should be more easier. This does involve dragging a lot of mirrors. I think I did it in a efficient way. We seem to be lacking quite some mirrors. Right. 
I don't think that was a really good decision. Maybe we could have somehow hit the red one instead. That should have been more doable. Anyway, now that we have begun, I think let's go ahead and complete it. If only we can. It seems we need three mirrors for our objective and three is a bit too much. Looks like I'm unnecessarily wasting some energy. Technically I can do it. But um, it's not very efficient. Doing the red one makes more sense to me right now. It needs three more mirrors. We do have as many, so let's just get done with the red. Then once the red platform in the center lowers down, hitting the blue should be much more easier. Alright, there goes the red floor. And the red platforms have lowered. Now it is so much more easier to hit the blue one. There goes the blue one as well. Now we need just the yellow one. And I don't think there are many obstacles in its path now. Almost all of the colored blocks have already lowered up. Um, can just turn this and remove that block we do need to change the color to yellow so one more mirror here should now be sufficient and we can use this one There we go, four floors in place and we can now get the treasure. Now this was an interesting puzzle. You did have to figure out there were sufficient mirrors. But the main question was about the number of movements required because that costs energy too. Anyway, so that's the treasure and since I don't have much energy, I'm going to double this and continue later. Right, time to go back. So what kind of hint did we get here? I guess it was only a treasure part. Let's check out the other room. Maybe such interesting puzzles await us in these ones too. are completed all right so what material repulses fake creatures I uh, in kryptonite mode mm. iron swords won them the war so iron would be the answer Right, so iron number one is the answer. And 
that opens up yet another portal time to go in hmm so this side we have an artifact part that side there was a treasure this time artifact so that is what the two rooms were for Okay, so right now we need to figure this out and this one is much easier than the other one because this time we cannot move the mirrors we can only rotate them uh, I think blue is the first one we are supposed to hit Okay, looks like Dicky has to walk all his way there. One more and we shall be done with the blue one at least. So similar to what we did in the treasure section. The platforms go and build the floor as soon as we hit their receiver. Now what I notice here is the color changers they are movable so not the mirrors it's the color changers that are movable so with that the second one is also done sounds quite easy off to the other side from here now it out is going to be a bit costly so what I will instead do is hit the red one first because it will lower the red platform which will make taking the yellow one out easier I hope I have enough energy all right yellow one is done I can see a shard in front of the artifact part so I definitely do not have enough energy for that okay with the red platforms gone taking the yellow should be a bit easier but again I do not have enough energy right let's continue with it uh, actually I did not remove the red one I will have to remove it and there goes the last floor so it's time to get that artifact part most of this location in fact seems to be consumed by dragging those mirrors which is why there are only 121 tiles but still costs huge all right we have successfully completed a treasure part i mean artifact part we can go ahead and collect its reward that will probably give us a level up as well yes it is a level up great so will that energy be enough most probably not well we are done with the side rooms it's time to get the books from the main rooms red green and blue so let's begin with the red one but before we get there we do have something uh, looks like that is somebody who is giving us hints in exchange of energy but that's not something we want i will solve it myself 
there is another shining bucket here nothing in there right let's read the question which of these creatures is a fae okay we have been hearing fae all along and we don't know what a fae is walking tree baboon vampire let's read the notes they are not cute Uh, Prince Kalem was the leader of the fake creatures in North America. That again does not give us a good hint. Tooth fairies, giant spiders and walking trees. So walking trees it is. Number 1. Alright, there opens up a portal. One of the books will be right in there. Hmm. And there is the book. But yes, we again have to solve the mirror puzzles to reach there. Okay, so let's figure out a better strategy. We will need to hit all of them eventually. This here is the light source. And this mirror is only rotatable, not movable. But these ones here are movable. So the only thing we can possibly do right away is hit the blue one. The blue flower goes in place. Okay, it's a floating flower this time, but doesn't matter. We'll eventually be able to reach the book. Uh, the blue platforms here have now lowered, which gives us some more room. And I think it's the red one next because we have access to a red receiver here. In fact, the yellow one, this here is the receiver to the yellow one. Okay, yellow is not it, yellow is probably going to be the last one. Let's work on the red, that I think will be the one. So much energy is required in dragging these mirrors. In the earlier act, it was still better. Only one energy was required, but now two energy is required. And we have a lot of these mirrors. Mm, almost ready to hit it. Second one gone. It's actually the last one. Uh, so now we have green and yellow left. Hmm. Red ones actually did not lower any platform for us. The green one possibly could. But I think it's wiser to do the yellow one at this point because well the green one is probably going to cost us some energy. If we move the mirrors away, 
then doing the alone later might become more difficult and might need more movement of mirrors so right now i am directing that through the yellow receiver we need just one more mirror but hey i think we have overused our mirrors can we tweak it a bit somehow something should be possible Hmm. We do not have more mirrors. I was kind of expecting there should be one in some corner or something. But if we don't have it, what can we do? So coming from the other side is probably looking like our only option. that does mean we have to track several more mirrors uh we can just use this one here we will need one in the corner and now we need one more to direct it towards the yellow light yellow converter Okay, finally the yellow one is hit. Now just one more, and since we have already tracked a few mirrors, I think that just gets easier. But yes, we do have significant movement needed. Once the light passes through the green receiver. we need this mirror to hit it okay i rotated it a bit too much and that's it extra energy one more mirror let's get that one and be finally done with the first book we still have two more books uh there was some road and not and i quickly clicked it so maybe if you can pause the video and edit it i will do that too later for now i guess it's time to go back and towards the second book two stars okay had exactly enough energy for that okay let's read the question what was spring scalen's plan during the spring forest war um let's read the hints This one is not it. Uh, hatred towards humans. That could be it. Let's read the last one. Okay, he wants his lands back. So three looks like a more probable answer. I'm going to try three first. And yes, three does seem to work for that. Time to enter the next portal. Hmm, quite similar to the rest. There is our book. This one is just rotatable ones. It seems rotatable ones are much easier than the other dragging type. Uh, we don't seem to have an option to get to the other side. 
unless we move this out but is that something we not need to do we probably have to hmm that costs a couple energy to get it out of the way but we can hit w receiver now Alright, one done, three more to go. We can aim for yellow next because almost all of the mirrors remain in the same position for the yellow one. Just need to change the color using this. But it looks like we cannot do that. Yellow is trapped in between the red one. So we will have to change the red first, but fortunately that is quite easy. Red also uses a similar line except in this side. Alright, uh, now we will be able to change it to yellow, so let's rotate it back and bring the yellow in the way. Okay, we need to remove the red one. There we go. Only green is left now. Mm, for green, we may need a different approach. Or not really. We just need to turn this one. And bring this in the way. Great. So since this one was rotating mirrors, the last one will probably be moving mirrors. We'll see. Okay, I again forgot to read that note, but you can pause the video and read it. Alright. Mm. One last room is remaining and 21 tiles let's see what does the crown of resurrection give to its bearer immortality ability to resurrect uh, we already know the answer of this number two we don't even need to read the notes but for information i'm just going to read it we already know the answer to that one. This note should have it in nevertheless. Hmm, right. So to it is, let's drag to on the mark. And we are ready to enter our last portal. Right, this one is moving mirrors, but there are not too many of them, so it should be easy. I will, however, probably be low on energy. I think I am due for an ad, so hopefully that gives me enough energy. Okay, 150 energy from that ad. And we seem to have sufficient to move the mirrors. We already completed all the tiles. Wow, it seems we have four different light sources. No converters this time. We can possibly begin with the green. It seems easy. There are no green platforms, only red platforms. Okay, we have one green platform too. Hey, this is not as easy as it, as it seems because they are actually not rotatable. We can only move them. 
so that probably was not very effective but i still think this is more likely the correct solution okay we will need those mirrors in other spots let's see which the next spot could possibly be uh maybe the red sounds doable to me uh actually pulling it up should be more friendly them in place and i have enough energy to move 25 spaces sounds more than enough um so for the yellow one uh, maybe it's better to do the blue one first uh we do need this mirror now we never used that one earlier so now is its time um either way should possibly be fine all right blue is also in place this mirror for the yellow one i think i am running out of energy a bit i needed just enough energy to pull this four more spaces okay uh let's step again so ideally that is not the solution we need just this mirror here i don't know what i was thinking but yeah very well attracted more than required So there we go. Well, third time also I kind of missed reading that note. But it's time to go back and talk to Elaine. Here you are, all the information that you need. So battery. The prince is extremely powerful. and his body is hidden in the spring fire forest that's where we are going next so that is it for this location thank you for watching and do subscribe to the channel like the video see you in the next one